it's Sam and today I have a new video for you guys but we're going to be talking about a more serious topic which is, you guessed it, college. So recently you guys know that I have been accepted to Yale University for studying film. I have taken two classes there so far. Here is my acceptance letter. It says, Dear Samantha Zhang, I am pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Yale Summer Session. Basically, Yale Summer Session is taking college level classes and you get actual college credits, which is great. And you get to stay there for the whole summer. And I just came back. And honestly, it was such a great experience. I have a video about my Yale vlog. Let's talk about college. I'm a rising senior in high school. I am looking into applying for colleges. I've already made my Common App application account. Basically, for those of you guys who are not aware of Common App, it's a communicator for you and the college. So it's like a Facebook for college. You apply and then they get back to you on Common App. You usually find out your decision on there. So this is my Common App account. It tells you like all the colleges you're interested in and then like the requirements you need and which one you want to do for early decision, early action. I'm interested in going to Boston College or University, Carnegie Mellon, Columbia, Cornell, Dartmouth, Duke, Harvard, John Hopkins, NYU, Northwestern, Northeastern, Pepperdine, Princeton, Rice, Stanford, U Chicago, Tufts, University of Notre Dame, U Penn, Vanderbilt, and Yale. Those are my top colleges right now. For those of you guys who are entering the college process or rising high schooler, I think this would be really informative. For you. I just want to give you my take on high school basically and college. By no means I'm not an expert on college but I know a bunch of my friends have already gotten accepted to great colleges like Emory, Georgetown, Stanford. It's a hard process I'm not gonna lie. I've seen them struggle. I've seen so many tears and heartbreak through this whole thing. I just want to give you some advice on applying. I applied to Cornell and Yale for the summer program, got in both of them, and honestly I did not think I was going to get accepted to both of them this year. When you're applying to college, it's a lottery draw. My grades in high school were terrible, let me tell you that. I've gotten A's to F's. I had a 2.5 GPA freshman, sophomore, and junior year. I got a 20 on my ACT. I got like a 200 on my SAT. But basically scores and all that don't really matter when it comes to college applications. I realized what the most important part in for a college application is the essay because that's a chance where you can show your personality, what you have a passion in, and what you want to change in this world. I know people who've gotten D's on their transcript and a 70% on their SAT accepted into MIT and Princeton, but I also know people who had perfect scores, valedictorian, and great extracurriculars get rejected from Stanford and Dartmouth. And just be yourself when it comes to college apps. When I was writing my Yale application essay, I wrote about my YouTube channel and how I have a passion for filming and that's why I want to go into there because I one day want to become the next Steven Spielberg or become an actress. I haven't decided yet. I feel like Yale could definitely help me with that. And little did I know I got in and basically it was kind of a crazy story. My mother and I were at the doctor's appointment and my mom and I both thought I'm probably going to get rejected. Like I, there's no way I'd get in. And then I opened my letter from her phone and it says I got in. Both of us, we were freaking out in the doctor's office. It was really crazy. I go to a four-year public school that has about 4,000 students, including freshman through senior year. It's a wide range of people. Another thing a lot of parents are concerned about is where their kid goes to school and how it will affect their chances in college. A lot of people think that going to a really rich, fancy private school up in New York or New Hampshire like Phillips Exeter, Phillips Andover is going to help you with your child's process in going to college and in my opinion colleges don't really 
pay close attention to where your child goes to school. Um, another thing is I've only been to high school for two years in total. I had to move around a lot, so I've been to four different high schools starting freshman year. Before that, I went to at least nine schools in middle school and elementary school. So if you have the passion for learning and just trying out new stuff, you'll be fine. I have gotten so much hate and a lot of people have told me you can't do it, there's no way, your GPA isn't high enough. I am here to tell you today that anything is possible no matter what anyone tells you. At the end of the day, you're the one who's gonna be there for yourself, not anyone else. If you do get rejected from a school you've always wanted to go to, it's their loss. Wherever you go to college, they're really lucky to have you. I went to this really boring three hour long seminar and what I got from it was um, even if you go to a community college or a state school, graduate school is what really matters. So if you go to a community college, you do well, stay on top of your class, get great grades, do something on the side, in turn, you're going to have a really easy time getting into grad school. So definitely consider that when you're deciding between colleges. I know Asian parents can definitely be a little college materialistic, Ivy League or nothing. Do what you want to do in life. Another thing people have been asking me to do is whether they should take the ACT or the SAT. Both of them are about the same. It's basically just different testing styles. If you're quick at doing short problems, take the ACT. There's also a writing section which really messed me up. The SAT is harder problems but longer time. Don't spend half your life prepping for these tests because standardized tests colleges don't take that seriously. I took standard and honors in high school. Another thing is the number of APs you should take. Take a hard class that you're interested in. For example, if you're a STEM person, take AP Calculus, AP Bio. If you're interested in English, writing, want to become a writer when you grow up, I recommend taking AP Literature. I didn't do much extracurriculars. In terms of clubs, I didn't stay in school longer than I was supposed to. So once that last bell rang, I was out of there. I was on a competitive swim team. I was in the school orchestra, which was a class. I also performed outside of school. So that's also a big factor if you want to mention your extracurriculars. Every summer, I went to a summer program. And instead of saying, oh, I went to these summer programs, you could say, yeah, I went to Yale Films program to learn how to edit so I feel like that would be a really good part that would be a really good learning lesson to bring to your university where I can teach other students how to edit want to stand out from the standouts regardless whether you go to college or not everything's gonna be all right just believe in yourself you can do anything you set your mind on to don't worry and if you need any help, just let me know. Message me on all my social medias. I'll be here. Love you guys. Peace.